Hey what's up guys, Midget HD here. I just want to apologize because I still got a <clears throat> really sore throat. And uh, today I'll be unboxing this Gemini 200 Hawaiian Airlines 767-300. It says 300 but it's actually a 300ER. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you around the box. As I do, I'll give you some facts about um, Hawaiian Airlines and their 767. And here we go. Right, as most of you know, Hawaiian Airlines place at Honolulu um, International Airport. Um, with main airports, well, with the main airport as um, Kahului. They were founded in January 1929 as Inter-Island Airways, and then they changed to Hawaiian Airlines in October of 1941. Their fleet consists of 50 aircraft, uh, two of which are 767-300s, and nine are 767-300ERs. Oh, stupid tripod, it's doing it again. Anyway, um, <coughs> they have 28 des destinations in Asia, South Pacific, and the US. Um, they, uh, most of these are served by um, the A330-200, which flies into Auckland Airport, um, and yeah, that's all I can tell you for now, so I'm just going to show you inside the box, and see so here's the, <coughs> what, what comes in. It's the same sort of stuff that JC Wings has in their boxes, except uh, Gemini has black. And there you have the, um, <coughs> the stand. It's got it's not personalised stand for the aircraft. And they've got some plastic just to protect the paint and everything. And there you go. Okay, so uh, it's out the box now, and I'll just give you a look around the aircraft. We'll start at the front here, so you can see the cockpit windows and the window wipers and the nose cone. And then we have, let's zoom in here a bit, Boeing 767-300ER, there's these small ER letters at the end and there's, you can see above that there's a word there, it says Kolea. Kolea is, um, is, a, is a bird and uh, Hawaiian Airlines name the aircraft after different birds found in Polynesia and after Polynesian constellations. Then we have uh, the first uh, the nose gear uh, with part of the registration 580 and uh, these are steerable nose gear that's perfect for your airport, for, for your airport. And here we have the um, the awesome Pratt & Whitney PW4060 engines. I'll just give you a look inside the engines. And uh, um, I'll just give me a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I lost my tool um, for a bit. Um, and I'll show you inside the engine. See, engines engine spin, there you go and then come along the aircraft to the winglet very nice Hawaiian Airlines is probably one of the best deliveries in the world it represents exactly who they are then we have the American flag and the registration N580HA or November 580 Hilo Alpha. Coincidentally, the H Hilo is uh, a city in Hawaii. I think it's on. I think it's on the main island of Hawaii. And there's the there's the uh, girl which um, the hula girl which is Hawaiian Airlines logo. <coughs> There's the APU at the back. 767 is probably one of the best looking aircraft in the world. Especially the this one with the winglets. So 
I'm gonna have to adjust the stand again because it's really the tripod because it's really bad. Um, you see Kolea in the cockpit windows and Boeing 767-300ER in the nose gear. Oh, I'll show you on the nose gear. There's the uh, there's the headlights, the landing lights on the gear. There we have Hawaiian titles. There we have a cargo door. This little grey dot here. There's one on the other side as well. They're the um, they're the uh, main main headlights. There's the Pratt and Whitney engines. Part of the um, flower on the wing, I think. I'm not sure what the name of them are. And there's the registration, and there's the cargo door, rear cargo door, and the logo. They're on. Um, the flowers are like their. That's what they make their lays out of. Their um, they've got a very distinctive smell to them. Let's give you a look on top of the aircraft. So here we have a beacon light and an antenna. And then another antenna. Another antenna just there. And then the tail. You can see here on the tail we have those two grey dots there and there. They illuminate the tail at night time. Now let's give you a look on the bottom of the aircraft. The first gear here, going down. Gemini Jets logo with the beacon light. There's a hole for the stand, and there you see the main gears, and you see the gear doors are sort of um, um, engraved into the metal itself. Sort of flaps, markings, and um, slats, and all that kind of stuff. You know, uh, oh wait. Show you down here. Uh, there's an antenna there, and there's another one just there. And there's the thing for tail strike, and there's the uh, the doors at the back, uh, the emergency doors at the back, if needed. And oh, um, one more thing I didn't see uh, is if you look right beside the Hawaiian titles. That flag there, that's the Hawaiian um, state flag, which has, uh, has, see it's got the American sort of stripes, and then it's got the, up in the top left hand corner, it's got the, um, sort of like the Union, Union Jack from the uh, United Kingdom flag. Um, that's because it, this used to be a British territory before um, it became an American state. And yeah, so I'll give you, I'll show you what the stand is like. Um, so we have Gemini Jets on the bottom of the stand, and then in this blue film here to protect the metal on the back, which I'll just take off now. It's just going away. Uh, one thing which kind of annoys me is look how rusty that nail is. I'm gonna to have to replace that. Not nail, a uh, screw. It's not good. Not good, Gemini Jets. JC wings aren't like that. <clears throat> so anyway, I will put this on the stand. Give you a good look of it on the stand. So let me. Bring my, bring the camera up, and it's got the padding to protect. Oh, so it doesn't scratch the bottom of your model, just to protect it. Here we go. Uh, uh, main gear. Not much tilting action going on there, so uh, don't be expecting too much on that. But um, nice angle there for. 
take off. Uh, I didn't show you here, there's, um, if you can see the red dot on the base of the winglet, that's the um, red navigation light and on this side it's, is, if you can see it's, it's green, it's, it's right there, it's green. I just won't focus on that section of the um, aircraft. So it's a very nice looking model, just get into frame, there you go. Nice climbing angle of it there. And uh, so the video is coming to an end. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please watch my last video, which was the most anticipated model of this month release of this month's release in 1200 scale, which was the Varig MD11, first MD11 in 1200 scale diecast. Um, please go check that out. Uh, I have the Tap Portugal A340. And as you can see, they're probably you can see them in the back there. Um, Tap Portugal A340, and then I have the Aeroflot Triple Seven. Go check those out. And um, I haven't seen this in person, but I want to say thank you guys for watching um, or checking out my Air New Zealand um, Dash Eight Q300 video. Um, first, my first video which reached a thousand views. So thank you very much. If you haven't um, seen it, I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, so I, I want to thank you guys for watching this, and I will see you later.